Jack here on This Week in the Monkey House. And on today's show, we're getting some advice. That's right. It's time for another word to live by. For the first two hours on today's show, we're giving dear callers a chance to regale us with some high-quality advice that we could apply to all of our lives. Like Layla, who says, when in doubt, act like a robot with your grown-ups. Say hello to Michael. Hey there, Michael. How are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the Monkey House. So, Michael, uh, same question. Have you ever toasted a marshmallow on a lava flow before? No, because I don't live near a volcano. Yeah, not a lot of volcanoes there in Florida. Although, is there a volcano that's part of Disney World by any chance? I have no idea. I know there's Space Mountain. I don't think there are any volcanoes on Space Mountain. It's just a mountain in space. <laughs> Tell us, Michael, what's your word to live by that we should consider? Never ask advice from someone you don't know very well. Interesting. Don't ask for advice from a stranger. Uh, who should you ask for advice from? Your parents or your older siblings. Someone you know, maybe a friend. Oh, okay. So, and why do you say this, Michael? Have you mistakenly taken advice from someone you didn't know? You're like, hey, should I shave my head? And they're like, ah, sure. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Did you take advice from a stranger, Michael? No, I just, I just know it isn't a good idea. I see. Gotcha. <laughs> may not be very well informed and you may end up doing something bad to yourself. Oh, I see. That's a great piece of advice. Yeah, strangers, they don't have any skin in the game. They, they don't have to look at you the next day and make eye contact after you've shaved your head. You know, <laughs> after you, <laughs> whatever it is, after you uh, use magic marker to color your arm totally blue, uh, no stranger is going to be around the next day to confront you and uh, share your in your feelings about having done that to yourself. So go uh, to friends or family to ask for advice. Uh, but here's an interesting question, Michael. We've been getting advice from other Kids Place Live listeners like Jacob, Layla, and Grace. Do they count as strangers, or do they kind of count as friends since we're all calling into Kids Place Live? They count as friends. I don't Audience? think anybody bad would call Kids Place Live. Audience, you hear that? Michael just vouched for all of us. We're all Michael's friends. Cool. Hey, Michael, can I come over and have dinner tonight? No. 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 Okay. I guess we're not. No, I'll be at a hotel. Oh, fair enough. Good way to way to scurry out of that one. So we're friends, but we're not like invite myself over for dinner, friends. Yeah, that that comes later. We're just <laughs> we're passing in the hall, friends. Occasionally having a phone call. That's that's the limit. That's okay. You got to set boundaries with your friends. That's what they say. Good fences make good friends. Audience, give a, a little bit of noise, please, for Michael in Florida. <laughs> Great advice.